What's up guys, so today I'm down at Eastney, just fishing by the coffee cup with uh, the angling addict. We've got uh, a few friends coming down to join us as well, about 7, seven o'clock tonight. I've got one rod set up just there already. You know, I like to get set up first, have a bait in the water while I start speaking. Still got another rod to set up, just in here. Um, just got back from digging. Plenty of blow lug in there and a few white rag as well. So that should be enough for tonight. Setup wise, I've got uh, an up and over, just one hook, um, and a small hook as well, a small cox and rule, scratch and match hook, size four. Uh, a little bit of bling, some sequins and beads to um, hopefully attract a flatty of some sorts. Still yet to catch my first one, so. You know, it's early February, they do come in this time of year. Last a few minutes of sunlight left. So, could pull out a dab. Or be extremely lucky and get a place. Or flounder. But, um, yeah. It's easterly wind. So... It's raw already off to a bad start, as all, as you all know, or as most of you all know, easterly wind is not good. East is least, west is best. So, I'll be surprised if uh, I pull out anything tonight, even a white in, that'll be an achievement in these conditions, I think. Sea wise, quite flat, a little bit of chop, not a lot. So, yeah. Cool. chances you know of searching for the fish rather than waiting for the fish to find me but on the, the Gravel Unix I have a two hook clip down with a gripper on the bottom just to see what kind of works best I apologize if there's any wind noise um, we've got an easterly like I said so it's coming from this direction straight down the beach but, uh, yeah nothing to report yet but hopefully we'll get a fish <laughs> this is the angling addict 75 he's with me today or i'm with him he's taken me so um what rigs you got on got pulley pen off yeah. Um, I'm using a semi-circle hook on the top hook. Okay, yeah. Just to try it out. The small bait rod is a two-hook flapper. Yeah. Got the fresh blow lug. Dead fresh. Just dug it 30 minutes ago. I want on the top hook and ragworm on the bottom hook. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Just checking out all kinds of stuff. Right. See what's biting. However, it is that easterly wind, isn't it? That's it. Preparing for the match. Huh? Preparing for the match tomorrow. <laughs> Getting a head start. <laughs> there we go, guys. I think I've got a bite just on this right hand rod. Second chuck. That'll be a bonus. Might have one on this left hand one as well. They're only very little.
Just wait for it to develop a bit more. So this is how I'm baiting up. Just using the blow dug that I dug today. Taking the worm, just going through the head. Try not to pierce the body, which I have. Come out just above the tail. Gently pull the head over the knot. And there we go, there's one. get the other one. I'm just going to leave that bait on there and I'm just going to slide that up, put it up the line. This one, a couple of white rag there, I'm going to put them on. Same again, through the mouth, thread it up and over. over the knot there we go just like that leave the tail quite long on these it gives off loads of movement and yeah we'll get that out there we go got a bite on this one see that Just a little white in. Something on that field. some weight to it. Come on. Shouldn't be anyone else's line. I've had three guys set up to my right quite close. Where is it? We've got a fish. A little white in. A little white in, Wayne. Yeah. There we go, guys. It's got a white in there. It's not bad on the second chuck. <coughs> On the white rag. There we go. See if we can turn the brightness down. But um, no. Good start. Fish already. Here we go, guys. Look, here's the white and strip that I've got on. I've not even whipped it on or nothing. It's gone through about three times. Just gonna chuck that out. See if we can pick something up. Here we go, guys. Got a nice double shot there. Nice double shot of white him. Don't mind that, do we? There we go. Let's get the disgorger. Let's 
and we'll get it out. The way to use these, you got your clip there, clip it onto the line, and you want to get it into the fish's mouth like that, and you reverse yourself and a little flick, and the fish is off. I'll show you again. This one doesn't really need it, but you'll be able to see. So it's through the, uh, the bottom lip. Get the hook down. So your disgorges at the bottom right there. You're gonna turn it just like that and use the weight of the fish just to plop it off like that. Easy as that. So these, they're a very good tool to have. Fish number four. Whiten number four. This one taking on whiten. On the up and over. Um, should be able to get that hook out nice and easy. Yeah. Go here, you can see the white in, but um, yeah, plenty of these around so far, guys. So good, I've not really had much chance to have a break, and they're biting again already. So, easterly wind has proven to be good this time. I know it's only white in, but you know, I've had four already early on, so. Can only go up from there, can't it? I was hoping for like um, a dogfish or a little strap, just something different, maybe even a bass. Or I've got a fish bait on on the up and over rig, so you know, I could even get a, a form back ray or something. I'm just looking at my rod. Oh, yeah, I think I've got a bite on it. Yeah, just get up there. I don't know if you can see it. Something, something definitely nibbling at it. Here we go, guys. Another double shot of whiting. One. <clears throat> Get the other one. That's two. Lovely. Nice double shot of white in there. Here we go, guys. Little smooth hound. More than happy to catch those in February. Awesome. Right, we'll get them straight back. What a result. Another white in, guys. I think this is my tenth one now. Definitely the smallest. There we go, look at that. But they've got nasty little teeth. Don't know if you can see them or not. But, you know. Saves a blank of white and always. Plus I've had a smooth hound now as well. So tonight it's been a good night. Species number three. A little pout. There we go, look. Oh. So on a bad easterly wind, we've had white in, 
pout at an early smooth hound you can't complain at that can you right guys that's me all done now um i'm not sure how many white i had probably about 12 or so one pout and one smut it's nice to have the smut early on this year uh it's a sign that spring's coming already thank god um so yeah if you stayed this long then uh, please leave a like and as always hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh yeah see you next time